So we're going to talk about different techniques to live white. For our member of EnjoyingArc.com, I'm looking forward to seeing you in our fun and relaxing Friday painting together. If this is your first time to our channel, it's all about making art easy with relaxation. Push like, share, subscribe, and turn on notification. First, let me tell you the brushes that I'm using. I only use two brushes. One is a fry brush, it's gold here. Okay. Take care of the brush, just use the two fingers, right? Just softly massage it every time before you start using it. Okay. Now, the hair very soft, also remove all the bubble, all the air inside the brush here. Now the brush is ready to use. That's very sharp over here, very organized. And this is the calligraphy brush. The calligraphy brush can use for medium and small shapes. And the tip is very sharp, so it's very easy to control. Okay, now I'll put it down over here. First, we're gonna paint around the area. So we're gonna leave a little shape over here. Maybe say start by do a little drawing of something. Like say, this is the shape, right? You already done the drawing, like something like this. I don't know what it says. And, but this is the shape that you want to leave it around. So you don't have to draw it. If you have the shape in your mind, you just paint around the shape. That will be fine. I'm gonna use the flat brush. It's just bigger, better. I'm gonna take this, take a color, Sometimes you need to wet the space around. And sometimes you, when you are, when you have a large brush, you don't have to leave around because the wet brush would wet the, wet the paper at the same time you are painting the, the color to it. So I'm gonna paint around like this and moving, just watch out the edge. And then you can painting and leave around the space. And we know this most common leaf white, like that. Now we have the white space right in the middle. The leaf white. This is very simple. Uh, the second thing we talk about is using masking. Masking fluid or any kind of masking materials is really easy to do. So we're going to do a little masking. I'm going to use this small sable brush. Get the soap into your brush here. Otherwise, the masking foot is going to penetrate inside the brush here. It'll make it very messy. So now this is good enough. I'm going to put it on the side over here. Now I can take the masking foot and I can Paint the shape, like say what's the shape will look like. Okay, let's say there's a shape like that. I'm gonna paint that shape and then I'm gonna leave it dry. And after it dry, and I can come back to paint on top of the masking foot area. The masking foot layer protect the space from the paint. Now I'm gonna wash the brush. So this is good. The brush is sharp again. At the same time over here, we're gonna prepare our next masking technique. Using masking tape is another technique. Draw on the masking tape. Say we're gonna draw the shape of one of the boats on the side over here. So I'm gonna mask in this area. So about this big. So what I'm gonna do, I can use a, a knife, cut that shape, or use a scissors to cut that. Here you go. Here you go. And now I'm gonna put it right here. So here you go. Have a little bit brown color. Get a little yellow color. And get a little blue color. Okay, gonna start from the top over here. Here you go. Having the color over there. And looks like I have some yellow color. I'm gonna take a little more yellow and put it right over there. 
and then right under and have a little bit brown color right over here a little bit blue color coming down over here and then gradually getting a little bit lower we're gonna have a little bit more the winter blue green shade here you go now i'm gonna have it like that it's just a little color like that so i don't have to ping around that area because ping around it requires you uh, some attention. Right now, I don't have to give it much attention. Calligraphy brush. Now I'm gonna paint some even detail color into it. Now I'm gonna take the red color and the blue color, make it really dark. Now I'm gonna just painting right over here, painting right on top of the uh, tape. And here you go. I'm gonna have some color even darker. And I'm gonna have something over here on the top like that. And I can do some lifting if we want to lifting some of the light. No, now we are talking about lifting when it's still wet. So I'm going to do that at the same time on this same experiment. Now I'm going to make the brush a little bit dry. And this brush has a lot of hair. So we can do the lifting pretty well. Now I'm going to take a look. I'm going to lift up that over here. Just use the corner of this brush. Now you can see that I already start lifting the white, right? I'm gonna lifting and also a little bit cast a little bit reflection of the of the bow this side. I'm gonna lifting that color as well and then keep remove the wet, remove the color from the brush and just put it back over there. This is still lifting when it's still wet right now. And if I'm going to lift something else over here and you can use the corner. Here you go. Now I'm going to lift a little bit more. Now, like that. After it totally dry, we'll be able to lift up the masking tape and it will be look fine. Let's come back over here. It's already dry. Now we're gonna come back over here, take a look at, oh, we're gonna have some of the color over here, maybe a little bit brownish. So I'm gonna paint the around over here. You see that it not let the color coming into the area, very resistant. So I'm gonna have a little bit other color painting around. So I don't have to paint it around over here. If I, in that case, after you dry, we would have a cleaner space. That's another way, it's also very common to how we leave white. And now we talk about lifting after you dry. Now we take a look over here. This is already dry, right? So this is, we already done, talk about how to lift it when it's still wet. Now what I want to do, I need to actually have enough wet. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna lift the top over here, uh, say something a little light shape over here. I'm gonna put the wet in here. Now I'm gonna shape my brush. So the brush has a little bit more strength, like this is good. Like a really, really sharp. Now I'm gonna start doing the lift, doing the lifting. A little, loosen the color a little bit. And now I'm going to start, take away the color. And then I'm going to come back over here. I'm going to lift again. This technique especially good for like a, create a moon shape. Because that is at night, the moon is not that sharp, the edge. But you can return it to be close to white. So that is lifting after it drive. And you can use different brushes for different shapes. So I come back over here with the smaller brush and I can have something over here. I'm gonna make it a little bit lighter like this. Now here you go. I'm gonna use lots of water. Keep moving, keep moving. Use the tip of the brush. Now I'm going to let go of the wet and Make the brush a little drier. Now come back over here to lift it up 
and continuously moving a little bit more a nice light space. Now, as we're talking about this, it's already getting dry over here. This is already dry. And we can come back to here, just carefully lift up the corner. That is beautiful. That is a very clean Y shape. So if you know exactly that what shape that you want, draw it on a piece of tape and making sure the tape is uh, not sh too strong, but strong enough to holding on all side of the edge. And over here, it should be already dry. And the bottom over here is still a little wet, but that was the accident. So now you can use your hand or use a, a remover and you can leave it. And that is the masking fluid. Right? That is just not really new to you. You already know how to do that. That's good. Okay, the other one is scratch when it's still wet. I'm gonna do a little light color. We're gonna watch out how, how wet, how dry that space would be. I'm gonna have that a little bit wet, like get over here. Okay, that looks very, very wet. Okay, now at the same time over here, I'm gonna come back with, say this already dry, but I want to have a little scratch, like over here already dry, but I want to have a little skinny uh, light space. How I'm gonna do that? I'm gonna use a very sharp knife. So here you go. Doing this scratch, it's just for you to reverse a very tiny, tiny space back to light. And you don't want to cut the paper, okay? Just barely right on top or just right under the surface of the paper. This is extremely useful, like when you're painting animal and uh, whiskers. And this could be a very good choice for a technique by lifting a little light area. Sometimes a little bit, little bit should be a little highlight on the hair and you can always can come back to do a little gentle lifting. But when you lift, you're making sure I scratch, you scratch it like a sideway. You don't want to do this. You do this, cut the paper, right? So you have to do this like on the other direction. Repeat in the same area, but be patient. Back and forth, back and forth, a few times. You can create a light shape. Okay, be persistent, going back to the same track, the same area, you can create some light shape. Now when we're talking about that, this is getting drier and drier. So. Let's take a look at the bottom over here. I'm going to remove some of the excess wet. Excess wet right over here. I'm going to remove that. So I don't want the wet coming back to the areas above. Okay, that's good. And watch out. I'm going to do a few times of scratch in different wetness. And that this is a different kind of scratch. This is after you dry, right? And this scratch is supposed to be scratch the color away. Like if you're doing this like this, nothing happened because nothing being scratched away because it's the color already already in the paper. But now the the color is still on the paper, not in the paper yet. And the top over here get a little dry, and the bottom a little bit more wet. And now it's just about losing the shine. Okay, still seeing a little shine over here. The top is very much dry. It's like a 90%. I'm gonna try this to show you, like right here. When you scratch the same thing, you don't wanna scratch this way. Scratch this way, you create the indentation to the paper. It actually you make it look darker. There's a dark line over there. You see that, right? So you want to do, you're doing this sideways. So basically use the edge over here 
you actually take away the color from the paper. Ready? You see that? That is scratch away. And if I do and continue over here, keep going, keep going, shorter, longer, shorter, longer. That's what we're going to use on the boat. But you have to keep in mind that the timing of this, if you do that, it's very wet. I'm going to do one more demonstration for you. If you're doing that really, really wet over here, right over here, if you do that, like that, if you scratch it, you know what happened? And the wet back coming back. <laughs> That is this should really do what you want it to do. I'm gonna do that over here. And immediately it's gonna fill them back in. And you're gonna see this is already getting darker. Because mm -hmm. it make a little small river in the middle of so you're not expecting that river is gonna look lighter. Yeah, so it's gonna be look darker. And that is just gone. So you have to wait until the correct timing. The correct timing is probably only within a minute. That means if you want to do all the scratching with this technique, you have to do that. That's already too late. Over here, already too late. Over here, probably still a little bit. That's still a little wet. And that's a little wet, but it's still okay. That's still okay. The bottom over here, still enough wet. You see that? So you watch out for what's the timing. The top over here. You still see a little wet. If you splash over here, you still can push the color away. You see that? That is just what the timing is. If you cannot do the splashing uh, to create a snow effect, that means you cannot scratch it. Okay. Now this is already getting drier. Now I'm going to do it one more time over here. And getting there. A little bit getting dry, but still seeing a little pad over there. Uh, I'm going to do a little bit, like a different part of the pellet knife. And this one have a little bit, a uh, little bit more, a little bit wider, a little bit bigger. You can do it like that. You see that a little bit bigger, like a little bit sharper over here. And you can do it look like a little smaller. And this is what scratching. Now from here on, now you can do that. It's uh, not enough wet. To coming back to the space. So, how about I'm gonna let you to do some of their technique practice, and when they have fun with this.